Welcome to this day at Everything Cool for March 8th. It wasn't much of a fight to determine what would take the first spot. On this day in 1971, the fight of the century took place between Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier in New York City's Madison Square Garden. This was the first time the two undefeated legends fought each other for the heavyweight title, and it was a huge event, not just because of their boxing prowess, but because both men possessed larger-than-life personas that were sure to clash. Who got the top Wait till I get you in the ring. Wait. Ali and Frazier even got into scuffles during interviews several times before the fight. Uh, quick, Joe! The fight itself lasted 15 rounds, with Frazier declared the winner in a unanimous decision from the judges, although Ali refused to admit defeat because the match ended with him still on his feet. He went on to beat Frazier not once, but twice in two follow-up matches, with their third and final bout, the Thrilla in Manila, taking place in 1975. You betcha that today was an important day in film history. Oh, yeah. On this day in 1996, the crime thriller Fargo was released in theaters. Written and directed by Joel and Ethan Coen, the film focused on a kidnapping scheme gone wrong and starred Francis McDormand as a small-town police chief on the trail of the criminals. From his footprint, he looks like a big fella. Fargo was a huge hit critically and commercially and was one of the first low-budget indie movies to strike it big in the traditional Hollywood studio system. Yeah, that's a good one. Fargo had a big impact on pretty much every crime movie made ever since, and the film serves as the basis for an ongoing TV series on FX that deals with similar subject matter. One of the biggest games ever made broke out on March 8, 2011. BioWare launched their massive RPG Dragon Age 2 on the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, serving as the first sequel to Dragon Age Origins, which had been released less than two years earlier. Dragon Age 2 took the franchise to new heights. It had one of the biggest and most detailed game worlds ever developed, and like previous BioWare titles, player choice and character interaction played a major role in the outcome of the story. Dragon Age 2 was a huge hit, and BioWare followed it up with an even bigger sequel, Dragon Age Inquisition, in 2014. Looking ahead, Bioware says that they plan to create more Dragon Age games in the not-too-distant future. 